Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about gypsum. So now let's get straight to it. Gypsum is a soft sulfate mineral composed of calcium sulfate dehydrate. It has been used by humans for various purposes for thousands of years. The name gypsum is derived from the Greek word gypsos, meaning chalk or plaster. Its discovery dates back to ancient times, with evidence of its use found in ancient Egyptian and Greek civilizations. In ancient Egypt, gypsum was used in construction for creating plaster to cover the walls of tombs, temples, and palaces. The famous Egyptian pyramids, as well as many other structures, were gypsum-based plasterwork. Similarly, ancient Greek builders used a form of gypsum in the windows of their temples due to the moonlight effect it created on the altars when the sun shone through. Gypsum is commonly found in sedimentary deposits, particularly in association with evaporite minerals such as halite, rock salt, anhydrite, and sulfur. These deposits often form in areas where there has been the evaporation of seawater or mineral-rich groundwater, leaving behind concentrated minerals. Significant gypsum deposits are found worldwide, with notable occurrences in countries such as the United States, Iran, China, Oman, Spain, Turkey, and Thailand. Did you know that gypsum is known for its softness and can be easily scratched with a fingernail? With a Mohs hardness of 2, gypsum is suitable to use in applications like sculpting and carving. Gypsum is commonly found in shades of white, gray, or colorless. However, it can also exhibit colors such as brown, pink, or yellow when impurities are present in the mineral. Gypsum crystal can be transparent to translucent. It has a pearly to glassy luster when its surfaces are fresh and unaltered. Gypsum has perfect cleavage in one direction, resulting in thin flat sheets when broken. This property makes it suitable for producing drywall and plaster products. Some varieties of gypsum, such as selenite and desert roses, have stunning crystal formations. Selenite crystals are transparent and often colorless, with a characteristic fibrous or columnar structure. Desert roses, on the other hand, are rosette-shaped clusters of gypsum crystals that resemble flowers and are commonly found in desert environments. One of the most notable chemical properties of gypsum is its ability to undergo dehydration when heated and to reabsorb water and return to its original hydrated form when it comes into contact with moisture. This rehydration property is used in the production of gypsum-based construction materials like drywall. When drywall is exposed to moisture, it can absorb water, which helps to resist fire and provide a protective barrier. In agriculture, gypsum is used as a soil amendment to improve soil structure and fertility. It helps to break up compacted soils and improve drainage. Did you know that Benjamin Franklin was the one of the first people in the United States to use gypsum? He called it land plaster and put it to work on his farm to condition the soil. In cement production, gypsum is added to cement clinker to regulate setting time and improve the workability of concrete. It is also used as a filler and coagulant in paper and textile industries. Gypsum has been used in art and sculpture for centuries. Due to its workability and fine detail capabilities, artists use it to create intricate sculptures, statues, and bas reliefs. Before the era of computer-generated imagery CGI, shaved gypsum was used by early Hollywood filmmakers to create snow on set. Other substances include cotton and soap flakes. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.